Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome to another meal prep video. For breakfast prep this week, I'm making a high protein breakfast scramble. And for lunch, it is one pot bacon cheeseburger pasta. If you're new to my channel, I'll be meal prepping for my husband and I just for three days. The other two days of the week, we do something different. Also, for anyone following Weight Watchers or calorie counting, I do share the Weight Watcher points and also calories on my channel as well. As always, all the recipes I share will be linked down in the description box below, as well as some of the items that I use. I try to put links for those as well. So now let's jump into this week's meal prep. this week this is a high protein breakfast scramble this is coming out to five Weight Watcher points 335 calories and 45 grams of protein so let me show you what I'm gonna be using for these in each meal prep container I'm gonna use one egg I'm gonna use half a cup of cottage cheese I'm using the low-fat good culture cottage cheese if you use fat-free cottage cheese on Weight Watchers that's gonna reduce this by two more points so the whole breakfast would only be three points Honestly, I think good culture is pretty close to the fat free, but because it does scan points, I'm counting that in there. So half a cup of that in each one, half a cup of egg whites. I have some roasted red bell peppers that I've just kind of diced up. And then in each one, I'm gonna put a half an ounce of feta cheese. So y'all know I cut my feta into 16 and then I know each cube is half an ounce. So I'll just crumble that in each one. And then for the sausage, I'm gonna use this Never Any Chicken Breakfast Sausage. These are one point per link and three points for two links. I have, uh, I had one package and then in this package, I have three and a half, which when I plugged in is actually perfect because it comes out to one and three quarters of a link in each container. And one and, th one and a three quarter links is two points on Weight Watchers. So it works out. So I'm actually gonna be just combining all this in my meal prep containers and baking it. That's it, that's all I'm gonna be doing. So I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees and I've sprayed my containers with some cooking spray. So now I'm just gonna chop up the sausage. And then, like I said, I have my meal prep containers already sprayed with cooking spray. To each one, I'm gonna add one egg, half a cup of egg whites, half a cup of cottage cheese, half an ounce of the feta. You can use whatever cheese you want and I'm just gonna crumble that on there. And then I'm gonna add in the roasted red peppers and feel free to use whatever vegetables you want and then add whatever spices you want. So I'm just using salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I'm gonna add in a dash of hot sauce to each one and then just whisk that all together until all the ingredients are well combined. And then top it with the sausage and then this is going in the 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. So that's what they look like. So now during the week, we'll just heat these in the microwave. So as you can see the square one, because it's just got a different depth to it, that one cooked a little bit more. So just be aware of that depending on the size of the dishes that you're using. So that is the high protein breakfast scramble. Again, five points on Weight Watchers, but if you use the fat-free cottage cheese, then it would just be three points for this whole thing. And then for calories, 335 calories and 45 grams of protein. Lunch this week is a recipe from Skinnyish Dish, and this one is called One Pot Bacon Cheeseburger Pasta. This is really good. I've actually made this before. This one is a little bit higher in Weight Watcher points than I usually have for lunch. So what I'll probably do is just have a lighter point dinner. So this comes out to nine Weight Watcher points for one and a half cup serving and 387 calories and 32 grams of protein according to the way that she makes it. So let me share with you what we need for this. We're gonna need one medium red onion. We need six slices of center cut bacon. I just used the center cut bacon from Aldi. We also need, oh, I don't have my ground beef out. We need one pound of the extra lean, the 96% lean ground beef. And then one and a half teaspoons of Lowry seasoned salt, three tablespoons of dill relish, 
a 14.5 ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. And if you don't have the fire roasted or you don't like the heat, you could definitely just use regular tomatoes. In fact, that's what I used the last time I made these was regular tomatoes. We're also gonna need one and a half cups of beef broth, one cup of water, and then eight ounces of pasta. I'm gonna use the Barilla Protein Plus Rotini, but use whatever pasta you want. We're also gonna need a half a cup of fat-free half and half, a quarter cup of reduced sugar ketchup. I'm just gonna use the Heinz No Sugar Added. And then two tablespoons of mustard. We are also gonna need a tablespoon of Worcestershire. Also some salt and pepper and three quarters of a cup of, where's my cheese? Oh, there it is. Three quarters of a cup of part skim mozzarella. So this is gonna make six servings. So I'll have three for me, three for my husband. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually insert an old clip because I, my husband and I made this for a one pot meal video that I had done. So I'm gonna be making it exactly the same way. I think the only difference in that is I had a little bit different. I think I just used the regular tomatoes and I think I used some different pasta. Uh, but as far as how it's made, it's going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to insert that clip and share with you how it's made. And then I'll come back after and put this into the meal prep containers. I have my pan over here on the stove heated, heating up. You need to have either a deep skillet or a pot. So I'm going to use a deep skillet. You also wanna make sure you have a lid that fits that since we're gonna be cooking pasta in it. So here I have six slices of center cut bacon and one red onion. I'm gonna cut the center cut bacon into small pieces, toss it in my pan. I'm not gonna be putting any oil in the pan since it's bacon, it's gonna create its own fat. And then I'm gonna cut up my red onion. Okay, after the onion is cut up, then just add the onion to the bacon. And then we're just gonna cook this until the bacon is cooked and the onion is soft and translucent. Next thing we're gonna do is add in the ground beef. And just break it apart. So one thing she says at this point, before adding the ground beef, if you wanted to take the onion and bacon out so that it would stay a little bit crispy, you could do that and then add it back in at the end. But she said she just leaves it in there just so that it can kind of get all the flavors together. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, once that's all broke apart, now we're gonna add in the two teaspoons of seasoning salt. And then we're just gonna keep cooking this until the burger is cooked through. All right, once that's cooked, then the next thing to do is if you have grease that needs to be drained, go ahead and drain that. I really don't have anything. Mine kind of evaporated into it. So now we're gonna add in the 14.5 ounce can of tomatoes and also the dill relish. And then just stir that right into the burger. I'm a little bit worried that my pan is not gonna be big enough. It's definitely deep enough, but I don't think it's big enough around. Okay, now we're gonna add the pasta, and this is why I don't feel like my pan is big enough. So I'm gonna add, I have six ounces here. And also in my pantry, I found some more noodles. So this is actually two ounces. Sometimes I'll do that. I will make a recipe and I use exactly what it calls for and then I end up with some extra noodles. So I weighed this out, this is two ounces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this to it. And then we're also gonna add in one and a half cups of the beef broth. the one cup of water 
and a pinch of salt, which my salt is about done. And then we're gonna very carefully <laughs> stir that up. So I've got that over high heat. I'm gonna bring that to a boil, which it's actually already starting. All right, we've got it to a boil. So now I'm gonna reduce the heat and I'm gonna cover and let it simmer for 12 minutes. All right, now just give that another stir. So now we're just gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. So I'm gonna stir in the mozzarella and the half and half. Oh my gosh. Tell me this does not look so good. I think I'm gonna use a regular spoon I think a spoon would be a little bit easier to stir that up. Then we're gonna add in the Worcestershire and the ketchup and mustard. Now I'm gonna turn my heat up to medium high and just give that a good stir. So I'm just gonna stir this constantly for two to three minutes until the sauce is thickened. So after a couple minutes, now I've shut my burner off. I'm gonna actually set this aside just for a couple minutes and just kind of let it sit and then I'm gonna dish it up. So like I said, this makes six servings and she says it's about one and a half cup servings. So now I'm back real time and I'm portioning the lunches into meal prep containers. I'm gonna use my two compartment containers and I'm gonna put something else in the other side. My husband's probably gonna want maybe some bread, piece of bread or something with it. He's just gonna do some bread and butter. And then with mine, I'm just putting some carrots in there. And then you probably notice this one's actually a three compartment container. I only have five of the single, my single ones and five of my doubles. So I always have to use a three compartment. So that's the lunches this week. Again, these are nine points. And then for calories, it really depends. Make sure to plug it in yourself because on hers it was 387 and on mine it came to 340. So not a huge difference, but just make sure to plug it in yourself. I almost forgot, I also am adding in a little container with some chopped up dill pickle and some fresh red onion. And then after I heat this during the week, I'll just put that over the top of it. So I almost forgot about that. So again, these came out to nine points on Weight Watchers. And if you plug in the calories, just double check because depending on brands. So in her recipe, she has 387. When I plugged everything into my fitness pal, it came up telling me 340 calories and 32 grams of protein. doing for meal prep this week not doing my snacks or dinner kits this week because I'm strapped for time so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one